Hey guys, it's Alex. So a few weeks ago, we learned about talking to God in prayer. But besides talking to God, did you know you can also listen to God? In fact, listening to God is a really important part of spiritual growth. So how do we listen to God? What? I can't hear you! I can't hear you! You don't need to do that. <laughs> what? You don't need a giant cone to listen to God. In fact, that'd be pretty silly. See, God speaks to us in different ways. Sometimes it may be through a friend, through some encouraging words that someone says to you, or through your pastor, through a sermon, or it could be even in a dream, or maybe just in the quietness of your heart, God speaks. But one of the biggest ways that God speaks is in his word, the Bible. Ah, no, you're... You're, you're doing it wrong. You have to actually open the Bible. Yep, just like that. Wait, what are you doing? Wait. No, 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 no. That's not how you listen to God. Get rid of the stethoscope. Now just read. There you go. You do not need a stethoscope, or any special tool for that matter, to listen to God. You just need your Bible. The entire Bible is God's word to us. Every single page in here, every word, every letter, was inspired by God or breathed out by him. We believe that these are God's words. That's why the Bible is so important. When we read it, we're reading God's words. And so reading the Bible is listening to God. God speaks to us through his word, the Bible. And as we read it, his Holy Spirit works within us to help us understand it and apply it to our lives. In the Bible, 2 Timothy chapter 3, verses 16 and 17 says, All scripture is inspired by God and is useful to teach us what is true and to make us realize what is wrong in our lives. It corrects us when we are wrong and teaches us to do what is right. God uses it to prepare and equip his people to do every good work. Scripture, or the Bible, is God's own word, and God uses his word to change our hearts. Through his word, he helps us realize when we're wrong, and he helps us repent and turn back to him. Through his word, he also comforts us in times of trouble. He reminds us of his love for us, and he strengthens us so that we can go out and serve him. When you read God's word, you are listening to God speak to you. That's awesome. So how often should we read the Bible? Every single day, as often as you can. All right, here's an illustration. So this sponge represents you. Right now, it's completely dry. There's no water in it at all. The water represents God's word. So when you turn on the faucet, the sponge soaks up a lot of water. Just like how when you read your Bible, you soak up God's word. So now you're filled with God's word and all the strength he provides. But then life comes along with struggles and hardships. And before you know it, you're kind of squeezed dry. At this point, you need to go back to your Bible and soak up God's word again, storing it in your heart so that you can be strengthened to withstand the struggles of this world and equipped to serve God in his kingdom. And what's awesome is you can keep going back to God's word over and over again, listening to what he has to say and soaking up his words in your heart. But 
doesn't the Bible have really confusing words in it? Well, sometimes the Bible might be confusing, but there are ways that you can help with that. You can try using a different translation of the Bible, one that is easier for kids to read. These can be great for helping you understand the meaning of God's words. What if I run into something in the Bible that doesn't make sense to me? Well, you can read it over again and you can pray about it. You can ask God what it means, ask his Holy Spirit to help you understand. And if it still doesn't make sense to you, you can talk to a trusted Christian friend, like your parents or your pastor or someone at church, and they can help you understand what it means. There is so much in the Bible, and it is all so, so good for us. Reading the Bible helps nourish our souls and gives us the strength that we need to live in this world. Let's pray. God, our Father, thank you so much for giving us your word in the Bible. We know that reading your word is so important for our lives. Help us to read your word each day so we can learn more about you and your love for us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks, guys. I'll see you later.